My name is John Morla. I am a software engineer at Electric Era. My name is Brian Sennett. I am a senior electrical engineer. My name is Sith uh, Dharmasiri. I'm a VP of software at Electric Era. I went to Oregon State and studied computer science and robotics. And then I also did research in Lego Robotics. I was a, a software manager and lead at, at SpaceX where I helped you know develop, deliver the um, Starlink satellite bus. I'm managing everything software related here at Electric Era. Bringing our like hardware in the loop system online to kind of managing all of the software services that we're developing. I get to work on the embedded software that runs on the battery. I get to have a large hand in how our station control algorithms work. Make a more meaningful contribution uh, being on a smaller team that actually builds something uh, that gets shipped out to customers instead of just kind of supervising the process. I had a very strong personal attraction to Electric Era. The biggest thing was just kind of realizing that it was just so hard to own an EV if you didn't have a place to charge it that was, you know, like in your home, for example, like in your garage. One of the things that really caught my mind was that if I needed to have an electric car, how would I be able to manage that since I'm going to be living in an apartment for, for a while. And I realized that even if some apartment buildings, you know, have two or three level two chargers in them, that's not nearly enough for all of the tenants. We're going to need a lot more charging stations. For me, Electric Era tries to solve a pretty important piece of a very important problem. The grid is extremely limited. It's very difficult to change. We need to be able to charge a lot more vehicles a lot more quickly so that people will adopt uh, EVs and uh, help combat climate change. That you know, electric era really fills in uh, the critical piece of the puzzle. To have like EV charging be much more globally accessible. Like I actually didn't get an electric vehicle, you know, when I was like looking for them, um, just because I realized like, oh, I didn't have a place to charge it. The struggle for I think a lot of people. Uh, is the availability of, of charging and of the infrastructure uh, of the charging network. And I think for many years I've known that you know this infrastructure question is, is a big one. Electric Era, and think of it as a battery company, but it's really not. It's a battery plus software kind of like power management platform. And the, the kind of confluence of the two is actually what really unlocks all of that power. One of the main things that I've been really proud of is actually getting to see my code work on the Hiddle unit, the hardware in the loop unit, and actually seeing it do you know, what it's designed to do and, and knowing that that's going to be going uh, into the field pretty soon and, and serving customers. I am most proud of is our hardware in the loop system that kind of validates the thesis that we can achieve fast charging with limited grid capacities. Like many startups, you know, we, we have to do a lot with a limited amount of resource. We have to like really be scrappy and make use of what we've got to, to come up with working solutions. I think my favorite aspect about working at Electric Era is just like the diversity of problems that we're solving. It's not often as a software engineer that you get to work on the embedded side as well as cloud and machine learning and algorithms. And so being able to, you know, in a given month work on all of those things, it's, it's just a, an awesome opportunity. Thank you.